you know, in the olden days, we used to have a saying, do not put eggs in all, all your eggs in one basket, right? Let us assume the basket is your centralized database where all your data is stored and the eggs are your other data, right? What happens now? You got a full basket full of eggs, say 12 eggs in one basket. Great. You can keep it all in one place. Wonderful. Now, what is the problems? There are some problems that happen. Yeah, what are the problems? A, the basket can fall. Some eggs can get damaged. Somebody can just pick up a few eggs and walk off. Somebody can pick up the whole damn basket and walk off. So there are a lot of issues. That's just like your centralized database, how we have right now. Databases are pretty much centralized. They all lie in one place. So they are easier to access, easier to hack, easier to destroy, corrupt, etc., etc., etc. Come blockchain and blockchain changes that paradigm. Blockchain says, guys, you don't have to store it in one place. We'll create different blocks of it. So every transaction is a block. This is in very simple words here. Yeah? So it is a timestamp series of immutable records of data. What is important? What are the timestamps? Once a record is created, time is stamped and it's immutable. It cannot be erased. A record time, wow, you cannot backdate entries, you can't change the dates, you can't manipulate. Wow, that itself becomes greatly secure. It's managed by a cluster of computers and not owned by any single entity. Isn't that great? Nobody owns it. So the more the people who are you in control, the more the people who make blocks, the safer you are because you don't have to, they cannot all be corrupted. Each of the blocks is secured using crypto principles, what is called a chain, like a jigsaw puzzle. If you have a jigsaw puzzle, and I'm sure we all had a chance to have, you know, make some beautiful designs and pictures with jigsaw puzzles. What happens? What happens in a jigsaw puzzle? If the correct pieces don't fit, you cannot form the full picture. The first and the second pieces have to fit, then the third. Similarly, the blocks need to do that. It needs to click the first one and the next one match, only then they join. Then the next one has to match the first and second, then they join. And therefore, your data now is getting becoming a chain and the chain can only become a chain if all is accurate and matching. That's why blockchains are now being used by almost every sector.